Hello friends, welcome to Taylor Sinise Yoga and Fitness. My name is Taylor. And this is your week for slow flow class. So all month we have been building to our revolved uh, um, half moon pose. So last week we got into revolve pyramid. Now we're gonna take it all the way to revolve half moon. So to really help us get into this posture, um, I have a couple of things. Um, I have a yoga block which as you know, if you don't have a yoga block on hand, that is totally fine. You can use a throw pillow from your couch, a uh, rolled um, or folded towel or blanket, um, even a stack of books. All of those things work as great substitutes. It just brings the floor up to you. Um, you'll also notice today at the top of my mat, I just have a stool um, from our kitchen table. So you can grab a stool or a chair, um, something just to give you um, a little bit of stability as we move into some one leg balancing postures. So if you need to press pause to go gather these things, press pause, go grab you a yoga block or a yoga block substitute and um, a chair or a stool um, and then come back. If you are ready to flow, we are starting off our practice today at the top of our mat, standing in mountain pose. So make your way to standing. Your feet are hip width distance apart. And ground down through your feet, engage your leg muscles, lift your kneecaps up. Allow your arms to float down to your side bodies, palms face to the front of your room. Relax your shoulders down your back, close your eyes and start to settle in here. Try to still your body and focus your mind. Tune in to yourself, to your breath, to your body for these next 45 minutes. So check in with yourself. How does your body feel today? Are you rested? Are you tired? Are you tense? Are you stressed? Do you have areas that are tight, areas that are sore? Just keep those places in mind as we flow and take modifications and changes as needed. And then how are you coming to your mat today? So how do you feel mentally and emotionally? What's your state of mind? Be honest with yourself. Don't change or judge it. Just acknowledge it. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Fill up your belly, fill your rib cage, expand, inhale. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Another one just like that. Deep breath in, fill up your belly, expand your rib cage, inhale. And open mouth, exhale, let it go. Seal your lips to work into your ujjayi breath. Breathe in and out through your nose while constricting the back of your throat. Inhale ujjayi in through your nose. Exhale ujjayi back out through your nose, constrict the back of your throat. Inhale ujjayi in through your nose. And exhale, Ujjayi, back out through your nose. You can start to blink your eyes open or you can keep them closed. We'll find some small movement here. So inhale, lift your shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, press them down and away. Inhale, shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, down and away. One more time, inhale, shoulders up to your ears. And exhale, press them down and away. Start to take on some neck rolls here. Nice and slow. In the other direction.
One more time, that girl. And in another direction. And then find stillness. If you haven't already, start to blink your eyes open. Connect to your ujjayi breath. Your breath is your guide. Breathe before you move. Inhale. Mountain pose. Tadasana. Sweep both fingertips up to the ceiling above you. Breathe here. Leg muscles are engaged. Lift your kneecaps up. Lower belly is held strong. Lengthen down the back side of your body. Knit your front ribs in. Together, relax your shoulders down your back and rotate your pinky fingers in to face each other. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale, forward fold. Hands come through heart center. Hinge at your torso. Release your fingertips down towards your mat. Have a little bend in your knees here so that your belly can relax onto your thighs. Maybe a couple of shakes of your head, yes. And no. Roll your shoulders out. Let go of any tension in your neck, your upper shoulders, your jaw. And then find stillness. Inhale, half lift. Plant your palms against your shins. Breathe here. So find a flat spine. Shift more weight into the balls of your feet. Actively press your palms into your shins. Draw your abdominals up and in. Inhale. Exhale. Modify low lunge. Plant your hands. Step your left knee to the back of your mat. If you have tender knees, this is a great place to bring a folded towel or blanket underneath your back knee. Now half splits, shift your hips back, start to extend your right leg forward as much as it feels good in your hamstring. So you can always keep a little bend here. Flex your toes up towards the ceiling. Lengthen through your spine. Y'all, this is a great place to add in those blocks on either side of you, just to bring the floor up to you. Breathe in to the places that are tight, the places that might be a little tense. Inhale. Exhale, tabletop pose. Come to all fours, your hands and your knees. Tuck your toes, come to the balls of your feet, deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. And just find some movement in this first down dog of practice. Pedal out your feet, one foot and then the other so that you really stretch and open up the back line of your body, your Achilles, your calves, and your hamstring. And then find stillness in your downward facing dog. Spread your fingers wide on your hands, press through the elbows of your hands, that space between your thumb and your index finger. Press your torso towards your thighs, allow your heels to release into your mat. Know that you can always keep a little bend in the backs of your knees if that feels better in your hamstrings. Inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, forward fold. With care, start to walk your feet to the top of your mat. They are hip width distance apart. Inhale, half lift. Plant your palms against your shins. Find a flat spine. Exhale, forward fold, release it down. Inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana, ground down to stand up tall, abdominals engaged. Exhale, forward fold, hands come through heart center. You release it, 
all the way down to your mat. Inhale, half lift. Right back to that flat spine. Palms against your shins, abdominals in. Exhale, modified low lunge. This time it's your right knee that lowers down to your mat. Start to shift backwards over your knee. Find your half splits. Extend your left leg forward as much as it feels good to you. Keep your spine long and straight. Great option for those blocks or your block substitute on either side of your body. And just to bring the floor up to you. Breathe into the tight and tense places. Use your breath to soften and ease. Deep breath in. Exhale, tabletop pose. All fours, your hands and your knees. Ground down through your hands. Inhale, cow pose. Drop your belly, arch your back. Gaze up to the ceiling. Open your chest. Exhale, cat. Tuck your chin. Round your spine. Draw your abdominals up and in. Inhale, cow pose. Drop your belly, arch your back, gaze up, open your chest. Exhale, cat. Tuck your chin round through your spine. Abdominals up and in. One more round, inhale, cow. Drop your belly, arch your back. Gaze up, open your chest. Exhale, cat. Tuck your chin, around your spine. Draw your abdominals up and in. And then find stillness in your tabletop pose. Ground down through your left palm, inhale, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Open your chest to the side of your room. Exhale, thread the needle. Pull your right hand behind your left wrist. Gently rest your right ear along the mat. Extend your left arm forward, just breathe. Breathe into this gentle twist. Keep your abdominals held strong to protect your back as you twist. And bring your left hand back underneath your shoulder. And now reach your right arm up. Exhale. Tabletop pose. Plant your right palm ground down through your right palm and now reach your left arm up open your chest exhale thread the needle pull your left hand behind your right wrist reach your right arm forward and breathe Right hand comes back underneath your shoulder. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Open your chest. Exhale, table top pose. Tuck your toes, come to the balls of your feet. Deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, rise up to your tippy toes. Exhale, press your heels back into your mat. One more time, inhale, rise up to your tippy toes. And exhale, press your heels down. Let's refine our down dog, really. Spread your fingers wide, press through the L's of your hands. 
torso presses towards your thighs. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, modified low lunge. Step your right foot to the top of your mat. Lower down to your left knee. Now we've got a big transition coming up. So drive your right heel into your mat. Inhale, crescent lunge. Listen, start to straighten into your back leg. Then peel your chest off of your thigh. Reach your fingertips to the ceiling above you. Breathe here. Drive your right heel into the mat to pull your right hip back. Lengthen and open through your left hip flexor. Close your rib cage, abdominals held in. Relax your shoulders down your back and rotate your pinky fingers in. All right, so the next posture we are going to use, our stool or your chair, whatever you have at the top of your mat. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, airplane pose. So you launch your left leg into the air. Dial your left hip down, use your support. If you wanna go without it, no worries, just extend your arms to the wall behind you and know that it's there for you if you need it. Focus your eyes, find a dristi. So something in the room that's not gonna move, that's gonna help you balance. Dial your left hip down, this is a closed hip posture. Embrace any wiggles or bobbles. Y'all, it's all a part of the process. Keep your upper back lifted. Really nice job. Inhale, warrior one pose. Tap your back foot down so that it gets flat on the mat. And then reach both fingertips up to the ceiling above you. Breathe. So back leg is straight. Back foot is rooted and grounded into your mat. So you lengthen through the back of your leg. Abdominals are held strong, rib, ca rib cage closed. Shoulders down, there's a bend in your front knee. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Adjust your stance, you'll need to open it up wider. Breathe. So open up to the long edge side of your mat. Front knee is stacked on top of your ankle. Press it open towards your pinky toe. Back leg is straight and the knife edge of your back foot is rooted into your mat. Gaze over your front hand, relax your shoulders down. Rib cage engaged. Inhale, reverse warrior. Sweep your right hand high. Breathe here. Relax your right shoulder down your back so you can open and really lengthen through the right side of your body. Light pressure on this back hand. Allow your obliques to do most of the work. Inhale. Exhale. Tabletop or high plank. It's your choice. Come to your high plank or all fours. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, modify low lunge. Step your left foot to the top of your mat. Lower down to your right knee. Now establish your foundation. Really ground down through your left foot. Big transition. Inhale, crescent lunge. Anjane asana. Straighten into your back leg. Peel your chest off of your front thigh. Fingertips reach to the ceiling and breathe. Work to square your hips. Drive your left heel into the mat to pull your left hip back. Lengthen and stretch through this right hip flexor. Turn your right hamstring on, your right glute on. Lift the back of your leg towards the ceiling. Close your rib cage. Inhale. Exhale, airplane pose. Launch the weight into your left leg. You have your support there if you need it. Use it. Dial your right hip down. Turn your right glute on, your right hamstring on. Always option to take one 
are both hands behind you for your full airplane pose. Your support is there if you need it. Come back to your breath. Are you still breathing? Is it still consistent and constant? Your breath will get you through these big power postures. Inhale, warrior one. Tap your back foot down till it's flat on the mat. Reach both fingertips up to the ceiling above you. Breathe. Drive your left heel into the mat. To pull your left hip back, lengthen and open through your right hip flexor. Rib cages closed, abdominals held strong. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Adjust your stance. Open it up wider. Bend your front knee, press it open towards your pinky toe. Lengthen through your back leg. Drive the knife edge of your back foot into the mat. Gaze over your front hand. Inhale, reverse warrior. Sweep your left hand high. Open up through your entire left side body. Relax your left shoulder down your back, however. Light pressure on this back hand so you let your obliques do the work here. Inhale, exhale, tabletop or high plank. You choose either full plank or on your knees. Take a deep breath in, exhale, downward facing dog. One more inhale and open mouth, exhale, let it go. Ujjayi breath, let's move this faster. One breath to one movement. Inhale. Exhale, low lunge with your core engaged. Step your right foot forward, lower down to your left knee. Big transition, inhale, crescent straight in your back leg. Peel your chest up, fingertips reach to the ceiling. Exhale, airplane pose. Launch your left leg into the air. Use your support or extend your fingertips behind you. Inhale, warrior one. Back foot gets flat. Fingertips reach up tall. Exhale, warrior two. Open up. Adjust your stance as needed. Inhale, reverse warrior. Sweep your right hand tall. Exhale, tabletop or high plank. Come to all fours or your body's in one straight line. Take a deep breath in, exhale. Downward dog, inhale. Exhale, modify low lunge. Left foot steps forward, lower down to your right knee. Inhale, crescent lunge. Tuck your toes, lift your back leg. Fingertips reach to the ceiling above you. Square your hips. Exhale, airplane pose. Launch your right leg into the air. Dial your right hip down. Option to use your support or extend your arms behind you. Inhale, warrior one. Back foot gets flat. Fingertips reach up to the ceiling. Exhale, warrior two. Adjust your stance. Widen it out. Gaze over your front hand. Front knee is bent. Press it open towards your pinky toe. Inhale, reverse warrior. Left hand sweeps up tall. Open your side body. Exhale. High plank or tabletop. Your choice. Deep breath in. Exhale. Downward dog. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, modified. Low lunge. Right foot steps forward, back knee lowers down. Inhale, crescent, big transition, straighten your back leg, peel your chest up, fingertips extend above. Exhale, airplane, launch your left leg into the air, use your support or extend your fingertips behind you. Inhale, warrior one, back foot flat, fingertips reach up tall. Exhale, warrior two, Adjust your stance, open up wide. Inhale, reverse warrior. Top hand sweeps up high, 
open your side body. Exhale, tabletop or high plank. You choose, deep breath in, exhale, downward dog. Inhale, exhale, modified, low lunge. Step your left foot forward, lower down to your right knee. Inhale, crest and straighten your back leg. Fingertips reach up tall. Exhale, airplane. Use your support, it's there if you need it. Or extend your fingertips behind you. Inhale, warrior one. Back foot flat, fingertips reach up tall. Exhale, warrior two. Adjust your stance, open up wide. Inhale, reverse warrior. Left hand sweeps up tall. Exhale, tabletop or high plank. You choose. Deep breath in. Exhale. <sighs> Downward facing dog. Deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. <sighs> Lower it down to your knees and grab a seat, my friends. All right, really nice work on this first half of practice. So keep your stool or your chair at the top of your mat. We are going to incorporate it um, in our second half of practice. Go get some water, refresh yourself, uh, take a break, and then I will see you on the other side of this water break. All right, friends, welcome back to your second half of practice. Um, I hope you were able to get a little bit of water and refresh yourself and you are ready to put in a little bit more work. So we are moving into our core section of practice, which just means open mouth exhales. Yeah, so you let go of your ujjayi breath just while we build up some heat in our core. Um, and then we will continue to move through our yoga. So make your way to your backs. Lay all the way down. Now we worked on this exercise last week as well. So extend your right leg up to the ceiling. You can keep your left foot planted. Um, also know that with your right leg, you can also bend it at a 90 degree angle, or you can just keep it flat on the mat and kind of work and focus on these oblique muscles. So find a basket grip around your head. Now take a deep breath in, open mouth, exhale, left elbow to your right knee. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. It's lower, exhale. Use your open mouth exhales, exhale, lower and down. So you twist both shoulders off of your mat, twist, it's lower, Exhale, move slowly and with control. It's down, blow it out. Keep the space between your chest and chin open. Lower, exhale, you have eight. Blow it out, it's seven. Exhale, last six, just for five. Last four, 
just for three. There's a four count pulse coming up in two and one. Let's pulse it up for four, three, two, one. Nice job, my friends. Lower it down. We'll switch it out. Left leg goes to the ceiling this time. Flex your toes so that you really lengthen through the back of your leg if your leg is straight. However, know that you have all of these options to choose from. Basket grip around your head. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift and lower. You exhale as you twist. It's twist and down. Twist both shoulders off your mat. Exhale and lower. It's twist and down. Keep the space between your chest and chin open. Twist and lower for eight. Just for seven. Last six. Just for five. There's a little pulse coming up in four. Last three. Just for two and one. Let's take this little pulse for four, three, two, one. Nice job, my friends. Knees to your chest. Take some rocks from side to side. And that should feel pretty good on your lower back. Then hands behind your knees. Start to rock and roll the length of your spine. You want to work up the momentum to cross your feet, plant your hands, make your way to your tabletop pose. So one more core push. Ground down through the palms of your hands. Extend your left leg behind you. Flex your toes. Now dial your left hip down so that it's square to the mat Toes are pointed down. Take little pulses here. Pulse and pulse. That's it. Pulse and pulse. Now really lift through your lower belly muscles. Close your rib cage. You have eight, seven, six, five. Hold it up in four, three, two, one. Right here. Four, three, two, one. Nice job. Place that left knee back onto your mat. Extend your right leg long. Pulse it up. Pulse and pulse. Abdominals are held really strong. Stay lifted in your lower belly. Right glute is fired on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, four, Three, hold it up in two and one. Right here, four, just four, three. Back to your tabletop in two and one. Tabletop pose, come to all fours. Now take a seat on your heels. If sitting on your heels is not comfortable, um, you can use some support. I always use a block. I have tighter knee joints, uh, but you can just sit on your tailbone. Close your eyes. Find a tall spine. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. <sighs> Another one like that, inhale. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> Blink your eyes open. Come back to your ujjayi breath. In and out through your nose. Find your way to tabletop, all fours, your hands and your knees. And then make your way to downward dog. Find that V shape in your body. With your ujjayi breathing. Inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, travel to your hands. Start to walk your feet up to the top of your mat. 
feet are hip width distance apart. Inhale, half lift. Flatten your spine, strong belly. Exhale, forward fold. Release it down. Now inhale, chair. Bring your hands together at heart center. Sit low in your legs. Hug in your lower belly so there's no sway in your lower back. You have more weight in your heels than you do the balls of your feet. If you look down, you should actually be able to see your feet. Now inhale and exhale. Open, arm, twist. So twist open to the left side of the room. Pull your right hip back so your hips remain square and even. And pull in your lower belly. Relax your shoulders down, really. Reach through your fingertips. Come back to your breathing. Is it still consistent and constant? Inhale. Come back to your chair pose. Exhale. Modify low lunge. Plant your hands. Lower down to your left knee. Nice job, my friends. Inhale, wide legged forward fold. So start to straighten your back leg. Bring all 10 toes to face the long edge side of your mat. You can even work to be a little pigeon toed here. And then have a slight bend in your knees if that feels better in your hamstrings now. Ground down through your left palm. It's right underneath your shoulder. Twist. Reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Keep your, your hips square. So your right hip might be lifted right now. Press it down. Squeeze your shoulders together. Reach your right arm one inch higher. Inhale. Exhale, place it back onto your mat. Ground down through your right palm. Inhale, twist. Left arm reaches up to the ceiling. Squeeze your shoulders together. Gaze wherever's comfortable. Inhale. Exhale. Place it back down. Come back to your modified low lunge. All right, take a deep breath in. Let's move to our pyramid pose. We've been working on that all month. Straighten into your legs. Your back foot is flat, just like in your warrior one. Remember, you can have a little bend in this front knee if that feels better in your hamstrings. Now you can grab your block or your pillow, whatever you got your block um, substitute. Plant your left palm onto your block. Also know you can stay in your pyramid pose. If you're just working on this flexibility in the back of your right hamstring, just hang out there and breathe. If you wanna go further, inhale, revolve pyramid. This is where we were last week. Squeeze your shoulders together. Keep your abdominals in. Remember you have that option to place your hand on your hip rather than extending it to the ceiling. So to move it one step further, you can keep your hand on your block or you can move it to your chair or your stool. Start to peel your left foot off of your mat. Now your hand can stay on your waist or you can reach it up to the ceiling for your revolved half moon. All the options here to make this really accessible in your body. One more deep breath in. Exhale, come back to your pyramid pose. With care, nice and slow. So wherever you were today, congratulate yourself. Really nice work. Come back to your tabletop. All fours, your hands and your knees. Inhale. Exhale. Downward. Dog. Let's take that on the left side. Inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, travel to your hands. Walk your feet to the top. 
Inhale, half lift. Just reset your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Release it down. Inhale, chair pose. Hands are together at heart center. Sit low in your legs. Activate your inner thighs. Draw your lower belly in. Relax your shoulders down. Inhale. Exhale, open arm twist. This time, you twist open to the right side of your mat. Pull your left hip back. Squeeze your shoulders together. Keep breathing. Ensure that your breath is consistent and constant. Really hug into that lower belly. That's gonna keep your lower back safe. Chair pose, come back to center. Inhale, exhale, modify low lunge, plant your hands, lower down to your right knee. Then make your way to your wide legged forward fold. Straighten your legs, all 10 toes will face the side of your room. Have a little bend in your knees. Plant your right palm onto your mat. Inhale, twist. Reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. Squeeze your shoulders together. Keep your abdominals pulled in. Lower your left hip down. Reach your left arm one inch higher. Inhale. Exhale, plant it onto your mat. And twist in the opposite direction. Reach your right arm up. Lower your right hip down. Breathe. Stay with your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Wide legged forward full. Spider crawl your fingertips back to the front of your mat. Modified low lunge. Let's move into our pyramid pose on this side. So straighten your back leg. Remember your foot gets flat. This front leg only straightens as much as it feels good in your own hips, your own um, hamstring, the back of your leg. So you can always keep a bend here. Great place for some blocks. You can even bring them on either side of your foot if you're working on this pyramid pose. To move into your revolved half moon, Use your block or your hand on the mat. It's up to you. Plant it firmly. Inhale, revolve to half moon. Reach your left arm up. So remember you have that option to plant your hand onto your sacrum on your hip. You can stay right here or we can take it all the way to our revolve half moon. Grab onto your support. Extend your back leg. Stay right here or reach your arm up. It's totally your choice. Wherever you are, breathe. Ensure that your breath is consistent and constant. One more inhale. Exhale, make your way back to your pyramid pose. Really nice job, wherever you were today, nice work. Lower down to your tabletop. Then find your down dog for one last time. Inhale. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Lower down to your knees, my friends, and go ahead and just make your way to your back. And so we'll lay it all the way down and start to cool it down. So cross your right ankle over the top of your left knee for a figure four. If you already feel your hips in this posture, then pause here and just breathe into it. If you want to go further, start to peel your left foot off of your mat. Grab for behind your left thigh. Pull it towards your chest. Use your 
right elbow to press into your right knee to deepen this stretch and just breathe. Use your breath to soften and to ease. Center, switch out your legs, cross your left knee over the top of your right, peel your right foot off of your mat if you want to, if your hips weren't already talking to you. So that's only if you want to go deeper. And then you can press your left elbow into your left thigh. And then pull both knees into your chest. Exhale, happy baby pose. Knees go to your armpits. Grab for your feet. Remember, you don't have to grab for your feet. Your ankles are the backs of your thighs. Work perfect as well, too. What's most important is that your lower back remain attached to the mat. And then if you want, little soft rocks from side to side. them up towards the ceiling her legs up the wall find that sweet spot where your legs aren't doing much of the work they're just kind of hanging out in space a little bend in your knees feet are relaxed this is awesome to do at the end of the day with your legs against your headboard right before you go to sleep time start to pull your knees into your chest give yourself a hug compress your thighs to your belly connect your forehead to your knee one more sip of air inhale exhale shavasana lower all the way down so you're laying flat on your mat allow your body to get heavy on your mat your core to disengage, release your tongue from the roof of your mouth, unhinge your jaw. Find stillness in your body and stillness in your mind. I'll let you know when it's time to come out of your Shavasana.
start to bring some awareness back into your body. Start with your breath. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Bring some movement into your fingers and your toes. Take some ankle circles and wrist circles. Reach your arms above your head, full body stretch. Reach through your fingertips, point through your toes, a couple nods of your head from side to side. And then as you're ready, make your way to fetal pose. Curl onto either side of your mat. Use your biceps as a pillow. Pause here for just a moment. Then with your eyes closed or softly focus, press up to a seat at the top of your mat. Find a tall spine. Hands come to your knees. Let's close out all together with unifying breaths. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Hands together, heart center, inhale. Exhale, we bow forward with gratitude in our hearts. Thank you so much for your time, your energy, your space, your effort, and your trust. Come back to sitting up tall, release your hands to your knees gently, blink your eyes open. Really nice work today on your mats, my friends. This was definitely a challenging sequence. So I am so proud of you for putting the work in. Continue to make space for yourself, to make space for your practice, to make space for self-care. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you next time. Thank you.